Welcome back to another episode of Mind Matters. I'm your host, Jane, and today, we'll be exploring a topic that often goes overlooked. We'll dive into the things you should avoid if you want to maintain mental peace. In our busy lives, it's crucial to take care of our emotional well-being. So, let's get started. Before we jump into the don'ts for mental peace, it's essential to understand what mental peace is all about. Mental peace refers to a state where our minds are calm and content. It is the absence of distressing thoughts or overwhelming emotions that disrupt our ability to find joy and stability in life. Today, we'll focus on identifying behaviors and habits that can hinder our path towards achieving this mental serenity. So without further ado, let's explore what you should avoid for mental peace. One of the first vital things you need to stay away from is excessive worrying. While concern over important matters is natural, excessive worrying can consume your thoughts and lead to anxiety disorders or panic attacks. If left unchecked, this worry seeps into other aspects of your life causing restlessness. To achieve mental peace, practice mindfulness techniques like breathing exercises or meditation whenever worry strikes. Acknowledge your worries but then consciously let them go. Another significant factor contributing to impaired mental peace is dwelling on past regrets or mistakes. Constantly replaying those memories can keep us trapped in negative thought patterns which hinder personal growth and happiness. Remember that mistakes are opportunities for learning and growth, they don't define who we are as individuals. Instead of dwelling on past regrets or failures, Focus on living in the present moment and embrace self-acceptance. Now here's something most people don't immediately associate with mental peace, multitasking. We often believe that multitasking increases productivity, but in reality, it disperses our focus and elevates stress levels. When we juggle multiple tasks simultaneously, it becomes difficult to dedicate our full attention to any single one. This constant switching between tasks creates mental chaos and leaves us feeling overwhelmed. For the sake of your mental peace, prioritize one task at a time and allow yourself to fully engage in it. Now let's discuss something that most of us are guilty of, seeking validation from others. While social connections are vital for our mental well-being, relying solely on others' approval can lead to self-doubt and anxiety. It's important to remember that your self-worth should come from within. Instead of seeking validation externally, work on building self-confidence and trusting in your own abilities. Ultimately, you hold the power to define your worth. Another thing you should avoid is neglecting self-care. In today's fast-paced world, it can be easy to put self-care on the back burner as we rush through our daily obligations. However, this neglect has significant consequences for our mental peace. Prioritize activities that bring you joy and rejuvenation, whether it's practicing a hobby or spending quality time with loved ones. Set aside time each day for self-care rituals like reading a book or taking a relaxing bath. Remember, caring for yourself is not selfish, it allows you to be at your best for others too. Moving on. Let's address an increasingly prevalent issue affecting many people's mental peace, excessive screen time. In an era dominated by technology, excessive use of screens can disrupt sleep patterns and negatively impact overall well-being. Make conscious efforts to reduce screen time before bed or during moments when mindfulness is required. Disconnecting from digital distractions will create space for relaxation and boost mental clarity. Remember folks, put down those devices and give your mind a well-deserved break. It's finally time to discuss the impact of negative relationships on our mental peace. Toxic friendships or stressful relationships tend to drain our energy and affect our emotions negatively. Take a step back and evaluate your connections. It's okay to set boundaries and distance yourself from people who consistently bring negativity into your life. Surround yourself with positive, 
supportive individuals who uplift you emotionally and contribute positively to your mental well-being. And there you have it, a comprehensive guide on what not to do for mental peace. Remember, improving mental peace is not an overnight process, it requires conscious effort every day. Allow yourself grace when mistakes happen because nobody achieves perfect mental peace all the time. Embrace progress over perfection and be kind to yourself as you navigate this journey. So that concludes today's episode. Join us next week for more insightful discussions on Mind Matters. Until then, take care of yourselves.